When I was growing up, the teacher would hand around a little pamphlet when I was in school asking what the kids wanted to be when they grow up. Some of the kids said astronaut, some of the kids said doctor, maybe even YouTuber. I always wrote organ trafficker. Today we're going to be playing giant skeleton with firecracker and bomber cycle with tornado. Now my plan is essentially the tornado is good with the giant skeleton to get it to the tower. Clone's too gimmicky, I just want to play the giant skeleton. But then it also works with the two broken evolutions. I want to just use the, like the giant skeleton is going to be the threat, right? But in reality, the firecracker, okay buddy. Okay, I just realized I can activate king tower, but in reality, please. Thank Christ. Okay, I'll take a hit. But in reality, it's going to be these things. The giant skeleton and the firecracker are going to be getting all the damage. But I want them to think... See, big brain plays here. I want them to think that it's going to be the giant skeleton that's the threat. So yeah, that's the plan for today's video. I'm really excited. Um, I've seen a lot of comments recently, um, basically regarding the oiling up thing. It seems like a lot of people unironically want me to cover myself in some kind of virgin olive oil or something and um, present myself on the, on, the, uh, on the channel, I guess. Um, and if there is no way for us to move past that, is that what it's going to take? I'm going to have to take my shirt off and all my clothes. I'm going to have to lather myself in oil in my next video. Is that really how we're going to move past this, guys? Because if that's what it takes, then fucking don't test me. I'll fucking do it. I swear to God. Don't don't test me, guys. Anyway, this is the first example of what we're doing here. Um, yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. But now all I have to do is this. Distract the firecrack in the other lane. And then hold that there, and the Evolve Bomber gets no damage. Okay, this is not going exactly how I wanted it to go. But yeah, um, if that's what it's going to take, I'll do it. I don't care. By the way, today I watched potentially the most um, raved about... Um, you really going to go for this, buddy? Probably the most... People are going to talk about this movie for generations to come. Oh my fucking god. You know what? Hang on. Hold that thought. Let's put a pause on the yapping for one second, just because... Fuck, dude. I gotta, I can't do that again. That was poor from me. All right. You know what? We'll let that go. Although I will play this because I'm smelling something. Okay. I thank God he doesn't have his hog rider. Today, I watched Godzilla X Kong. And oh my God, my, my perspective on life as a whole has changed. I'm never going to be able to go back to watching movies again because nothing will ever compare to that cinematic masterpiece. Um, you can't log bats. Hang on. What's going on here? Okay. So if I do this, like it's no hits and we are being chilling. Okay. Right. Yes. Good. Okay. Um, this may be harder than I thought. For the first game, I thought we were going to get, you know, sometimes we get the guys who spam E-Golem and the, it's all a bit of a meme. But no, we're against Hog Tryhard Cycle. But luckily, I am going to... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Keep going. He can't do anything about it. Let's fucking go. That is good damage. Let's freaking go, dude. Hold the Godzilla thought, because I definitely have some thoughts on that. Um, I just need to focus right now, because well, this could be a potentially game-winning moment with the gimmick deck. Come on, baby. All right. You know what? That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about, though. Like, the giant skeleton didn't get there. Oh, I thought we avoided the log. But as you can see, we got a ton of damage through the firecracker and the bomber. I play this. Please don't activate King Tower. We take that, and then I go for a tornado. Perfect timing, which is why it's in the deck. And then I'm getting a ton of damage on the tower. Please don't get a hit, for the love of Christ. All right, now whatever he plays, I have already got another evolution, which... Hmm. Is he seriously doing this right now? You, for real, just cycling earthquakes on my tower? All right, we'll play this far back and chip the Tesla down. Whatever he plays next. You know what, dude? Fuck it. That's not good. Please. No hits! Okay, I guess that worked, right? Um, I'm going to play another one. I hate the fact that he's getting away with this. Play bats over here. Literally play anything. I'm going to tornado it in. I don't care that he has hog rider. I'm still going to do it. He's going to go for a hog rider any second now. I can smell it. It literally reeks of a hog rider. He's going to go for an earthquake as well, thinking he's going to get damage, which he, of course he may if I don't get this tornado off. I cannot let him win through Earthquake Cycle. Okay. Please play something in... Okay, this is a interesting predicament I'm in right now. Please, Evolve Firecracker, stop! Okay, play a hog into this. Hang on. I really want to talk about what I wanted to talk about, but... This guy's being a bit of a nuisance. Okay, let's do this so that the Firecracker and the hog doesn't get damage. Alright. 
I don't expect every game this video to be this tryhard. It's just J Jason clearly woke up on the wrong side of the bed and decided, hey, I'm going to ruin Daddy's day. i got to stop unironically calling myself Daddy. Oh my fucking god, please tell me that's a win. That's splash damage on the towel, baby. That is how you beat tryhard hog cycle. You just spam giant skeletons and then you spam broken evolutions of the bridge you take it. Anyway, Godzilla and Kong. I want to talk about that. I watched Godzilla vs. Kong and that shit banged, man. They were hyping it up the whole movie. You know, there was this, look. Oh my god, Easter event. 5,000 gold supercell. You're way too generous. Oh my god. Did I get this yet? Oh my god, 100 skeletons. No way. No way. Oh, I have to get two more crowns. But yeah, Godzilla vs. Kong, smash. It's like, the humans are in the background, you know. They're, they're hyping up the big fight. They're like, holy shit, like, Godzilla's never made it out this far. Like, what happens when Kong's gonna, like, meet him, bro? It's gonna be crazy. Um, and then it was lit, you know what I mean? When they come together, they have this epic fight, and it's, like, hyped up the whole movie. And I live for that shit. The problem is with Godzilla and Kong, by the way, there won't be any spoilers. No. Oh. Okay, somehow that didn't get to the tower. The problem with Godzilla and Kong is, like, they try and, like, force some kind of convoluted plot to make them team up, and it gets a bit ridiculous, you know what I mean? It just doesn't... It didn't feel natural, and what the one thing I don't like, as well, is that they try too hard to... By the way, I'm getting a ton of damage from this firecracker, which is just great. What happens if I just do this? And that's gonna be in the bomb, as well. And I'm gonna get damage. God, I love this deck. And he doesn't want to use his dash, which, in reality, he should be... Damn it, he used it. Yeah, they try and make the humans important characters. I don't want to watch Godzilla and Kong for the humans. I want to see some AI, animated CGI monsters go head to head. And I'm going to play this at the bridge and hopefully I get some free damage here. Yep, broken cards, united. And then I'll go with this. And you know what? I'm presuming that will counter that. Yes, okay. That was not maybe my best defense. I was kind of going for a king tower activation there. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, I don't care about the humans in these movies. I feel like they tried too hard to make... They tried too hard to make the... the, the like this interesting plot. I don't give a fuck about the plot. Unless the plot is making Godzilla and Kong fight. I'm gonna be sick. But I feel like they just teased around it too much in this movie, man. I, you know, I, you're gonna know your audience, okay? What on earth am I playing against? Three Musketeers? What year is this, by the way, Albert? Please remind me. Is it the Three Musketeers? Is it year of the Three Musketeers? Didn't think so. Please kill that. All right. Giant Skeleton kind of kind of going crazy. And I like Fire Spirit and stuff in this deck as well because you can just play it at the bridge like this. And if they don't answer it, how much damage do I get? From 280... Yeah, like 300 damage. It's ridiculous. And then I'm going to do this in the other lane. He's going to feel inclined to defend it. Meanwhile, your boy is going for the other tower. Please don't go for the Heal Spirit. Let's fucking go, baby. Give me that damage. <laughs> and then I'm going to protect it, because why not? Uh, Vol Firecracker is nuts. And then I do this. Please, for the love of God, Firecracker, go crazy. Go nuts. You have permission to do whatever you want. Holy Christ. This is ridiculous. And then I just do this. And then, oh my God, it's still alive. Godzilla vs. Kong. I'm never going to get to the end of that thought. All I want to do is just play Giant Skeletons. Please get a hit on the tower, Firecracker. <sighs> Okay, you know what, we can work with that, because now I can play another one, and I know I can counter... Th okay, let's play this here. I am Sloth Reaction Speeds, I'm sorry, that was... Apologize for the bad gameplay, but I was too hyped with my little Firecracker gimmick push. And now it's gonna stay alive, and he's gonna have to play something else! Dude, this deck is beautiful. I love this deck. I love decks where I can just abuse Supercell's mistakes, essentially. And now I play this, and whatever the hell he plays, I just tornado it in, and would you look at that! High skill! High octane gameplay where I get a ton of damage for no reason. I love this combo. Previously, I had played Monk instead of Giant Skeleton essentially in this deck, but Monk is more gimmicky because it's like, oh, I can protect the protect the troops, and then you know I can play a little uh, ability off, and it will deflect all the spells. In this deck, the Giant Skeleton is a threat as well, so it's like, you, how are you going to defend it all? You don't, and that's why I win game. Please don't jump. <sighs> Okay, don't kill my... As long as my firecracker survives, I'm happy. All right, you know what? That was terrible. I don't know why I did that. Wait, it stayed behind because giant skeletons are fatty. And firecracker is not going to get to the tower, but hopefully... I'm even playing level 14 giant skeleton. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh, wait, he's got tornado. Damn it, I thought I just won the game. All right, you know what? He used his bats. I mean, he used his tornado. So let me do this. Okay. This is a little interesting. 
I choosing not to go with tornado this time. All right, we should be fine. No one panic. All I have to do is this. Make sure the heal spirit doesn't. Okay, what's happening here? There's too many things going on. No, my evolve. Okay, it survived. We're fucking chilling. Ooh, I want them all in the same lane, please. Please evolve bomber. Just one hit. Oh my god, that is just divine from you, my friend. Just keep it up. I don't even care if I don't win this game until over time. I've got like a hundred different ridiculous evolve cards and stuff. Is he going to go three musketeers right now? Because I'm smelling something disgusting. You know what? This is this is Clash Royale 2024. Please, I want to win in normal time. Oh my god, I was so close to doing it as well. Anyway, that's basically my point. Godzilla vs. Kong, man. Don't, don't fumble around with the story. Like, at the start of the movie, this is the only thing I'll say. Like, it starts off hard with, like, Kong. They introduce the characters. But then it just gets into a lot of plot. And I don't want to see the humans. Oh, oh, when's this character going to meet their love of their life and their purpose? Shut up. Like, I just want to see Kong smash some fucks. I want to see... I want to... Dude. Do you not know what I'm talking about, Tommy? I'm trying to talk about fucking Godzilla Kong. And you're just ruining my day. Yeah. Okay, I don't care about the Battle Ram Evolution, okay? Let's get back to- Why are you laughing? What? You know what, dude? You need to be silenced. And so, unfortunately for you... Get a hit, bummer. This is a thousand IQ play, by the way. Please tell me that connects, otherwise... That wasn't a thousand IQ play. Please tell me that connects. Damn it, dude! I s I thought I pulled that off. Okay, I probably only needed skeletons to counter all that, but you know what? We'll play the Evolve Bummer. Okay, alright, so we activate King here, but yeah, you get what I'm saying though on the Godzilla thing. Godzilla vs. Kong, no one cares about- No, he's gonna activate King! Alright, Tommy from Q-Lash Century 2 is a bit of a tryhard, but anyway, let me finish one ADHD tangent thought. By the way, not- don't have ADHD, I just want to clarify that. Um, which is that, yeah, that movie, humans, great, if they assist the Godzilla vs. Kong thing, otherwise, no bueno, okay? I'm not there for the humans. I'm not going to get attached to your characters. I also find it kind of funny how they just did like, they basically just stole Marvel's format of having like this whole cinematic universe um, on the big screen. And they just like, well, you know what? We'll do this with Godzilla and Kong. And guess what? It's hilarious because it's working better than DC ever could do it. And they have like Superman and Batman to make vid videos, movies with, which is just the funniest thing ever. Godzilla vs. Kong is literally more successful than the people who have the rights to Batman and Superman. That is obscene. They are the two biggest heroes of all time. Anyway, let's get back to Clash Royale. How do I get my Evolved Bomber to splash on his tower? All I have to do is I do this, and then I just pull this in, and hopefully it- that was terrible. Oh my god, I apologize once again. I'm letting him in on my gimmick. That's the problem, because now he, he saw me fail at what I'm trying to do. So now later in the game, I'm not going to be able to cash in on doing that. And he has his King Tower activated, which sucks. So this is not a good start at all. Come on, Ice Spirit, just kill the fucking... Oh my god. That's getting way too much damage. We might have to... We might have to upgrade... Okay. Okay, everything is going wrong right now. Oh, never mind! That is such a connection. And the Firecrack got a hit. As soon as I say everything's going wrong, it starts to go right. Isn't that just how the world works? Wait, does that survive? Okay, you know what? That's fine. King Tower's already activated, so I'm not going to try and pull that in. Um, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a sweaty tryhard sesh. Okay, he's trying to get chip damage. I'm trying to get chip damage. But I have a bigger brain. Um, he's going to play what? Okay, I'm not going to evolve bomber. We'll play a defensive evolve bomber. And we'll defend it with Giant Skeleton. I actually really want level 15 Giant Skeleton, but I'm pretty sure I don't have the money. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect Tornado. Let's go, baby. And then we play this. Play this to get to our next Evolve one. He's probably back to... Oh, Bomber, get a hit. Oh, go Giant Skeleton! That's not a connection. But as long as it kills the Firecracker and my one survives, that is clutch. Nice. And now, I'll go with this in the middle. He's definitely going to go with Mega Knight. Uh, I can't do any tornado shenanigans. He's playing everything in really annoying positions where I can't... Okay, you know what? I'm smelling he's going to play something else, but we're going to do this. Holy ice spirit jump! Did anybody see that? God damn it. Okay, how am I going <sighs> to... I literally forgot what he was playing. Okay, you know what? We're going to do this, and hopefully we don't take any damage. Tornado is clutching up right now. 
Why is this the fight of my life? We'll play this. Predicting something. I just maybe thwarted myself. No. Oh my god. Okay. All right. We're going to have to do something special here. Oh my god. What is happening? I don't want that to splash my tower, so I have to tornado. And he's going to get this off. Come on, dude. No. Is there any way I can kill that? What if I do this? Okay. 20 Okay, there's got to be a way. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, he missed. Please? Giant skeleton. Let's go. And then we put this here. The clutch up. The clutch up. And then I just... That's going to get another hit. And he loses. <laughs> he lost. He fucking lost with his giants. I mean, his royal giant Mega Knight deck. Oh, my God. How many... I'm, I've got my mystery drop already. Hang on. What is... Disgusting e golem emote. Wow. Elite wild cards. Okay, that's kind of cool. You know what? We'll open our mystery box after one more game. Because I'm having fun with this deck. I thought I was going to have to make some changes to make it better. But guess what? I don't need to. Because this deck is too damn good. I love... When a card like Tornado, which is a unique card, I would say, serves multiple purposes in one of my stupid gimmicky decks. That, that puts a, that, I'm not even going to do it. That puts a smile on my face. I've done that way too many times on this channel. You know what? No, let's not choke the streak. I want to go for a flawless video and I'm not going to play a giant skeleton at the bridge because I'm feeling trigger happy to start the game just because I'm trigger happy and I'm on a hot wood streak. But here I am playing Giant Skeleton at the bridge anyway because I'm cocky right now. Why is ev Oh my god, that was embarrassing. Why is everybody playing Firecracker? Now that was a tactical tornado so that I can activate King Tower. Okay, what's he gonna play? I feel like I'm dead here. Okay, mm alright. What are we gonna do about that? Mmm. Come on, don't take too much damage and kill that before he gets a hit. No. All right, we'll play Bats so that he has to answer it at least because Evolve Bomber can be a menace. Please don't activate King. He's messed it up. Yes, get a hit. That is, that is so much damage. I get 700 damage for that. And now I'm pretty much back in the game. I mean, I'm not even down. I'm down by 100. Okay, buddy. All right. You're going to go for a Hog Rider, are you? Pipsqueak? No. Okay. Because I will activate King Tower happily. Shoot! What? What was that? Why was it just sitting there? Protect it! I'm so bad at this game, dude. Okay, he's going to try and protect it. Which he has done successfully, actually. Oh my god. What is happening right now? How is the firecracker still alive? Please kill it. Please. Thank you. Now we go with this, this, and... You are the reason I choose to not wake up some mornings, Goki. That was terrible by me as well. And his firecracker lived longer. I need to get a grip on this game right now. Okay, please. Yes! Thank you for the free damage, baby. All right. Let's not choke. It's not really a choke if I'm already losing. He's not going to go for a firecracker. Good. He didn't fall for my bait, even though I didn't really want him to do it anyway. Firecracker, nice, okay. We take that. Interesting defensive hog rider. Wouldn't have done it myself. Into the giant skeleton bomb as well. Probably not a play I would have uh, done if I was him. Okay, we're, we're against another one of these try hard hog sweats. Luckily, not luckily, wait. Come on, come on then. Come on then. Go on bomber, go on bomber. That's two hits. That's so much damage. Okay, um, we'll go with this. We just don't want the firecracker getting absolutely crazy damage. It's not even because of the damage it's going to do. It's more of a pride thing. All right, for this one, I'm going to go with this. And then I'm going to go with this so that we can try and... Oh, yes! That's so much damage, dude. And that's going to do damage to his firecracker as well. Which now I have to try and kill this without... Okay, hopefully the firecracker doesn't get any damage. Okay, all right. Now we will go with this. And I think he's going to go for a knight like there. Ooh, okay. He's purposely not playing anything because he knows that I can go with the thing. Okay, this is really bad. You know what? 
What? Why didn't it? Okay. He's gonna go for an earthquake. But luckily the bats aren't earthquakeable. Come on, we gotta get the flawless streak. Is he trying to get back to another hog? Okay, come on. Come on. What are we doing? It's a great question. Come on. No! Holy shit! Where's my tornado? Let me! Let me get a hit! Let me get a hit! Let me hit! Go! Come on! Come on! No! It was so close! Oh, that's so annoying! I almost had the perfect video! And I went two again I went back to back against these not back to back, but we played that same dumb deck pretty much twice, and we almost beat it with our gimmick no building troll deck. But you know, we get a mystery. I'm feeling good about this. Happy Easter, by the way. Happy Easter. If you like Easter and you like mystery boxes, make sure to smash that subscribe button because we only do epic things around here. See what I did there? That's a smash like moment. Anyway, thanks for watching. Another great video. A lot of yapping. Can't complain. Episode 200 and I don't even know of Yap Fest. Yeah.